21st of September 2018, 6.40 p.m. This is a 10-year-old femur sterilized meniscus nouser, which uh, came in with a complaint of uh, vomiting six days ago for three days. So the doctor did a physical examination, which shows that the dog is having jaundice. See the eyes clearer? Yes, clearer. A yellowish. bit yellowish. Mm. How about the conjunct level? Also Open bigger, more bigger. Uh, no, the sclera, sclera. Yeah, a bit yellowish, you can see. Yeah, okay. Okay, then gums. The gums? The gums, no, definitely yellowish. Uh. This one definitely, okay. The, some more, the other side. Open big, widely the gums, yeah. The lips, actually. Lips, you can see much better. Yeah, yeah there's a jaundice. Skin. The skin, yeah. Mm, so the, that's the reason the owner brings in right John this as well as vomiting. Okay, so test done. The test done is for thick fever. Only the two out of four. Heartworm is not counted. Heartworm. The first one is heartworm, negative. But the second one is what? Echinus. Echinus is negative. The third Lyme. one, Lyme, Lyme disease, is negative. Now the fourth and the fifth. Anaplasma. Anaplasma antibody is positive, two lines. And the other one, Babesia. Babesia, two lines. Antibody is two lines. So this confirmed that the dog has a thick fever. Was there any fever no. on, on examination? No. no. Okay, then the injection given is this one. Just show the uh, how much was given. 0 0.4 ml. Mm. Let's see. Subcut. Subcut, yeah, okay. Then the drips are given. Blood test was taken. One bottle finished already? Hartmann. Hartmann, yeah. So now we continue with dextrous saline. No, uh, leave it, leave it there, yeah. Okay, leave it, leave it. Any more other things? And just vomited again. They open the... Uh, health screening blood test. The result will come out tomorrow morning. Okay, come. Open up. Yeah. So there was some vomiting. How many? Did you vomit early on? No. Pull up, pull up, pull up. So there was some vomiting again just now, just a few seconds ago there. White tissue. Huh? Normally it's due to liver. Liver, liver disorder, yeah. And there was the main complaint, vomiting. There was another video where the dog came in. Do you know when the dog came in? Uh, How long was it? Three weeks ago. Three weeks ago, it came in for for the complaint of what? Not eating. Not eating, and uh, the test shows positive for anaplasma. Then yeah. the dog was given the injection of the same one in the dog. Right, and and the uh, treatment, and did it recover? Yes, the owner said it gets better. Mm, it gets better, but it. He was advised to come back for a second injection uh, one week later or two weeks later, but the owner didn't come back. What was the blood test result? See, see the blood it test has result. Anemia. Mm. Just show the blood test results. Huh? That was three, three weeks ago, yeah. There's just a hematology. We see the hematology. Hematology. Was there any anemia? It was on August 2018. Yeah, just circle it. Yeah. Circle, circle. That's a two. Okay. Uh, the total white cell count was okay. And what is this one? Another one? For the first time they came in. Same one or not? Same, different one? Different one. 15 of August. Within 15 August, that was the time when he had this positive anaplasma and it shows very severe anemia and also low platelets count. Then uh, that was 15, right? Mm. Then another blood test was taken 10 days later, on the 25th. Still having the same anemia and low. Low uh, 
platelet. But the dog went back with medication and also the injection of this uh, Amin dogs. It, it, she's supposed to come back about uh, one, one week or two weeks later, but she didn't turn up. Now the dog has a more severe form of injection, uh, infection, Babesia and what's that, the other one? Anaplasma. Anaplasma, yeah. Early on it was only faintly anaplasma positive. That's in, this in another video. So now we have to wait and see whether the dog will recover or not.